the most in-demand vaccine in town isn't for COVID, it's for monkeypox. My friend texted our group today at like 11.30 this morning with this news, and I happened to be at a computer, so I said, oh, let me just grab whatever I can right now and hope for the best. Hale McSherry managed to snag a coveted appointment at the Chelsea Sexual Health Clinic, the only spot in the city administering monkeypox vaccines. The CDC sent 1,000 doses, and the clinic is booked solid through Monday. You know, if I had a nickel for every time I've had to go through the stress of trying to find a vaccine for an illness that I'm afraid of getting in the recent years, I'd have two nickels, uh, but it's too many, and I'd love to uh, get it over with as soon as possible and hopefully nip it in the bud. Richard Chow wasn't so lucky. He couldn't get a walk-in appointment, but he will be back. The plan is to come back tomorrow. They open at 11, so the volunteer here told us to come back at 10. Um, we're going to try again. It turns out New Yorkers are traveling to great lengths, literally, to protect themselves. Because Montreal opened up vaccination earlier, about a week ago, people in New York City were going up to Montreal just to get the vaccine. There's a desperate demand for it. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine says the city is working with the CDC to secure more doses ASAP. State Senator Brad Hoyleman says he's reached out to New York's health department as well. He's asking at-risk individuals, primarily men who have sex with other men, to be careful, especially this coming weekend. This is pride, and let's be realistic. Uh, there's going to be a lot of contact uh, among members of the LGBTQ community, and folks need to be protected. Now, I was talking to a spokesperson from the health department earlier today when there were so many people out here, and I said, what should people do if they're trying to get an appointment? You have a lot of people who are coming for walk-ups, and they are being turned away. And I was told that people should look for appointments online, that there will be slots opening up for the first available appointments, which are not until Tuesday, but just to keep your eye on those slots for when they do become available.